The USBC Open Championships is coming to El Paso in 2015. We're excited to tell you all about the championships, what we've been doing to prepare for it, and what this means for El Paso. El Paso won the 2015 USBC Open Championships bid due to the success of the 2010 USBC Women's Championship and the hard work and dedication of Destination El Paso and our contributing partners, the City of El Paso, the County of El Paso, the El Paso Sports Commission, the Hotel Motel Association, and the El Paso United States Bowling Conference. Congress chapter. Before we continue, let's go over our mission statement. We want to form an exceptional partnership with USBC, showcase El Paso's trademark hospitality, deliver a memorable experience, and dispatch over 54,000 El Paso ambassadors around the world, and of course, maximize economic impact to the city of El Paso. The USBC Open Championships are a pretty big deal. This will be the first time in a decade that the Open will travel to a brand new host city. Baton Rouge, Louisiana was the last new host in 2005. Bowlers from all 50 U.S. states and several foreign countries participate in the USBC Open Championships. There will be 128 days of competition beginning on March 7, 2015 and running through July 12, 2015. This will be El Paso's largest visitor assembly ever. As one of the longest running sporting events, the USBC Open Championships has visited more unique cities and venues than any other event and has among the highest participation of any sporting event in the world. El Paso will be the 49th different city. If you're not a bowler, let's take a moment to explain what this tournament is all about. The tournament is comprised of three different events where each competitor will bowl three games in each event. A five-person team, a two-person team or doubles, and individual or singles. Did you know that the tournament was first held back in 1901 in Chicago? The 2015 championship will be the 112th edition. The USBC Open Championships are gonna have a huge impact on the Sun City. This is what we've gathered so far. The 2015 USBC Open Championships has 37,500 projected participants, plus their guests from all 50 states. The average is about 0.45 guests per bowler, making the anticipated attendance 54,000. 400 bowlers and their guests will arrive in El Paso each day. The average length of their stays are 3.8 days. Based on this, USBC estimates approximately $75 million in economic impact to El Paso. El Paso is the third city in Texas to host the USBC Open Championships. Other Texas cities were Fort Worth, which hosted in 1957, and Corpus Christi, which hosted the tournament in 1992 and 2006. In 2010, we really rolled out the red carpet for the women of USBC, and the 2015 championships will be no different. We're going to place over 100 banners across El Paso, welcoming the bowlers, their guests, and raising awareness locally about the USBC Open Championships. We've also designed and created custom piñatas, banners, buttons, polo shirts, table tents, window clings, pole banners, coasters, billboards, and more. Our entire convention center is going to be converted into a bowling center, including a state-of-the-art LED scoreboard. It's a $1.5 million build-out and 62 lanes will be built, which is up from the 48 lanes at the 2010 Women's Tournament. After the tournament is done, USBC hopes to be able to donate the materials to a local organization so that they can remain in the community and USBC's legacy can live well beyond their departure in July. Throughout this presentation, we've included a few hashtag EP Strikes Again USBC fun facts. Here are some more to satisfy your curiosity. 89% of participants are male and 11% are female. Participants spent about six and a half to seven total hours bowling over two days. Our building is occupied December 2014 up till July 2015. The bowling center will include 52 competition lanes, 10 showcase lanes, five pro shops, a $5 million custom LED scoreboard and sound system. USBC installs more than 10 miles of Cat5 fiber and electrical wiring and enough electricity to power 10 homes. Over 55,000 square feet of drywall will be hung
hung, finished, and painted along with nearly 40,000 square feet of carpet, tile, and other flooring. Not long ago, Brad Paisley used 11 tractor trailers to move his lighting, staging, sound, and music equipment on his world tour. The USBC Open Championships will unload more than 50 trailers of material. USBC has already spent in excess of $1.5 million in El Paso prior to the arrival of any contestants. Approximately $6 million in prize funds are paid to tournament entrants annually. So far, over $90 million has been awarded in the tournament's history. There are two former champions from El Paso, Roy Daniels, an all-event champion in 2000, and Bobby Stives, doubles champion in 2006. We hope that this presentation explains a great deal of the buzz going on about the USBC Open Championships. We're really proud of El Paso striking again in 2015, and with your help and hospitality, we can make this event a thundering success.